Hello folks and welcome to Wednesday of Friend Week. Uh, my opponent today is Black Viper 188 There's a link in uh, the description and in the annotations to his channel. Um, we're using our uh, OU doubles teams and he's quite obviously got a uh, Sandstorm team. Um, and so I am... <laughs> This team has not done well against Sandstorm teams in the past, so I'm not looking forward to it. And looking at his lead, that's not only a Sandstorm team, but a Trickstorm team. So expecting him to set up the Trick Room, I go ahead and use Skill Swap instead of Trick Room uh, with my Uxie. Anyway, um, he must have a Quick Claw or something on that um, Sableye, because gets the first turn, uh, act or the priority activation, and gets a... Um, Fake out, uh, which prevents me from attacking the first turn, and I did predict that correctly. Uh, and this is a trick room team, um, so uh, and he gets another first turn activation, which is really interesting. Um, yeah, a uh, little bit of hacks there, but it is what it is. Uh, uses Will O Wisp on my Empoleon. I'm not sure why, considering uh, Empoleon is a special attacker, a stack, attacker at least on my team. Um, that might have been more effective against Uxie. Um, anyway, uh, no flinch hacks here so far. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out with Uxie. I get a critical hit, um, and you know, it doesn't do very much damage, but had he burned Uxie, that would have done absolutely nothing. So anyway, um, Uxie is switched out, and I go ahead and send in Uchikoma, um, my Metagross, uh, who, if it's not slow enough, it will get slower thanks to some pounding. Yeah, surprisingly, Samba's the fastest guy on the field. That has never happened to me before. But anyway, I do manage to take out that creepy, creepy Sableye um, with Hydro Pump, uh, and it's down. Um, I'm glad it didn't protect. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really... Not too many people do protects, I've noticed, in PBR, but whatever. Anyway, he sends out Heatran, and I am not looking forward to that. Heatran is the bane of my existence. I gotta kill it before it kills me. Um, anyway, my opponent does a switch, sends in uh, Steelix, and uh, Heatran uses Eruption. Luckily, I've got an Akaberry on, um, on, on Metagross, otherwise uh, this, this battle would have been over real quick. Um, anyway, both my Pokémon survive, uh, and Samba's now got a boosted Hydro Pump, which gets a crit. Um, who knows whether that crit mattered. It might have, it might not have. Um, but I do take it out, uh, hope probably thanks to a uh, combination of the crit and the torrent. Anyway, I go ahead and use Earthquake, which is fun, which is safe for Empoleon since it's in the air, but it's not going to do anything against Steelix, considering Steelix is a defensive wall. Um, yeah, so it uh, turns out that Skill Swap didn't exactly help out, because uh, Samba goes down thanks to the burn. So, um, yeah, that burn actually was fairly effective. So anyway, I go ahead and send out Patrick, and learning what I learned um, against, um, is a, uh, against Asukatsu that... Um, Basically, on switching out, it's got its old ability. This is actually pretty awesome. So um, I'll be able to skill swap um, Levitate onto uh, Metagross as well. Um, but it's not going to happen this turn. Um, uh, Earthquake takes out uh, Metagross, uh, which sucked. I was not anticipating that. I can't believe how slow his Pokemon are. I mean, I thought my Pokemon were slow. I mean, this is a Trick Room team after all, but his Pokemon uh, managed to get slower. Um, yeah, I mean, I always think of a lot of these Pokemon like Tyranitar and, um, whatchamacallit, Heatran is fairly fast because uh, they're, they're often, you know, they've got pretty crappy base uh, speed, but you can up that pretty high if you use a Jolly Nature and Max uh, investment, or, you know, if you scarf it. Um, anyway, I use pain, uh, pain Split offensively, which is completely useless. Um, and I go ahead and uh, use U-Turn, uh, which is super effective against uh, T-Tar, and does a fair amount of damage, not a great amount. But anyway, this battle is not going particularly well. A lot of my harder hitters are already gone. Um, and so I go ahead and send out Pazuzu, um, uh, hoping that no one's going to attack him. Uh, anyway, here comes a crunch on uh, Dusk Noir, but Dusk Noir can take pretty much anything and survives the hit, uh, so that's great. Um, and uh, as you're about to see, uh, I didn't actually count. I wish I could have said I counted, but I didn't. Um, I had brought out uh, Pazuzu at just the right time to uh, go first. Uh, anyway, it sucks for York because uh, it's no longer the fastest guy in the field and it can't recover itself. Um, anyway, I'm not in, I'm not doing a good job pre uh, predicting those protects. 
Uh, and so that Thunderbolt is going to be useless. Had I used Heat Wave, at least I could have done some damage to um, his Steelix. Luckily, his Steelix isn't carrying um, Stone Edge, and Ice Fang does pretty much nothing. Um, anyway, he's going to pull back his uh, T-Tar, uh, who I'm, I was going to go ahead and hit. Um, anyway, he sends out Metagross. Uh, and luckily, I was going to go. Luckily, I decided to use Heat Wave. Doesn't matter. He avoided the attack. Um, but it is going to be super effective against Steelix, which is nice. Uh, and I think it takes it out. Yep, it does take it out. So, uh, you know, we're actually pretty even. I'm not feeling good about this battle at this point because, um, you know, he's getting some lucky uh, hacks. For instance, the miss, the, the miss uh, um, on uh, Magnazone. And I'm just not exactly thrilled with what's going on here. Um, but... You know, we are going pretty evenly uh, at this point. He hasn't taken a lead, nor have I. Uh, so anyway, I send out Tianchi, my Dragonite, um, who, you know, hits pretty hard. And I've st and both my Pokemon should still be faster. So I'm going to go ahead and use Earthquake uh, and Heat Wave. Basically, I don't know, I want to get rid of that, um, that, uh, heat, that, whatchamacallit, ionized, uh, the, come on, people, help me out, Bronzong. Um, and so I was covering both of my bases, both of it was Levitate and if it was, um, if it was Heat Proof. And I thought it was Heat Proof based on how much damage it did, but as you're about to see, it's actually Levitate. Um, sorry, so yeah, I take it on the, uh, Metagross, didn't really stand, not Metagross, Magnezone, didn't really stand a chance, but yeah, it's Levitate, it's just really, really bulky. I mean, that Heat Wave did nothing. So anyway, he used the Trick Room back up, and I'm like, well, shoot, what am I gonna do now? Um... So anyway, he sends his T-Tar back out, safe knowing that it's slow as anything now. And so here comes a Rock Slide, um, which is super effective against both of my Pokemon. But, you know, they're both pretty bulky and they can uh, resist it. Anyway, he goes ahead and uses Stone Edge, which hits Tianchi and takes it out. And so I'm like, okay, well, that's I was anticipating that at least one of my Pokemon would be taken out. But one of my Pokemon I was expecting to survive and be able to hit back. And I get the Flinch Hacks! Ah, I was so frustrated at this point. I was ready to throw my remote at my TV, um, not at my computer, um, which, you know, is also up at the time, because my computer's just too nice, but, um, anyway, sorry about that. Anyway, now that I'm slower again, I can use, uh, uh, sorry, now that the trick room is back, uh, I can go ahead and use Pain Split offensively, um, and rack up some damage and get some, uh, healing on my, uh, on York, my Dusk Noah. So anyway, yeah, you can see, you know, York is back up to about half HP, while his, um, whatchamacallit, is, his T-Tar is really hurting. Anyway, here comes an Iron Head. Does a lot of damage, but does not KO. Um, Black Viper 180, if you're watching this and you might have wondered how the heck my Dusk Noir is slower, it's because it's actually holding a power lens or a power uh, belt or something to make it even slower. The idea is that it tr it's supposed to trick it onto Zapdos so that Zapdos can be slow too, um, but I didn't actually do that in this battle. In fact, I don't often do it uh, anymore because it's nice to have a Pokemon who's fast when the Trick Room goes down. Anyway, um, Rock Slide still doesn't take out any of my Pokemon because they're both really bulky. He, get he does get some more flinch hacks. Um, York is down to very low HP here. Um, and actually, it does take out Patrick. The, the Sandstorm damage does take out Patrick. So, um, I, my back's kind of getting closer and closer to that wall, um, and, you know, I'm, it's not looking good for me. Um, so I have to send Pazuzu back out, and the only chance I have is for ending this Trick Room uh, and Pazuzu getting faster again. Um, or, yeah, but uh, then again, I also need to take out that Bronzong, otherwise I'm just going to have more Trick Room. So I consider what to do here, deliberate on them for a long time, and decide I'm just going to try to end the Trick Room. Uh, here comes an Iron Head, uh, which takes me out before I have a chance to end the Trick Room, so I'm like, shoot. Well, this battle is pretty much over, because, you know, I'm not going to... Uh, you know, luckily he didn't attack um, with Rock Slide, um, and I do get some luck here. Stone Edge does miss. Um, but, and so Pazuzu is able to attack and take out Bronzong, um, which is good, but it's not going to help me now because the Trick Room is still up. Um, so yeah, this battle's pretty much over, I figure, you know, as soon as the Stone Edge hits, I'm dead. Um, 
but then the tri twisted dimension, twisted dimensions return to normal. Uh, you know, I've been really lucky here. I would like to say that I actually timed this out, but I totally didn't. Anyway, I, I predicted. Did I predict that protect? I don't remember. I think I did, and I'm going for the roost. Yep, I predicted that, and I'm going for the roost. And so the question is, can I survive a stone edge um, with the sandstorm damage and everything? So I go ahead and use Thunderbolt uh, to try to rack up some damage, hoping it KOs, but it doesn't because uh, uh, I have no special attack investment on this guy. And here comes Stone Edge, hits really, really hard, gets me down to really low HP, and the question is, will Sandstorm kill me? I'm like, oh, damn it, I lost this battle, look at that. And then, wait, what? It just, it, what, what's the, with the leftovers? What the hell? So you can see I have 13 HP. Uh, 192 over 16 is 12, so I survived with 1 HP from that attack. That is awful, awful luck, Black Viper 188. Um, you should have won this battle. That was just insane luck on my on my part. Uh, good game. I really, you know, I really couldn't believe that. Uh, you know, if we played this ten different times, you would have probably won nine out of ten. Um, but this happened to be the battle that we fought. Anyway, good game. Uh, everyone else, comment, rate, subscribe, challenge, and enjoy Friend Week.